Hi, I'm Big Dave and this is the series where I look at all of vanilla Minecraft structures and reinvent them. For the first episode, I want to tackle the Desert Temple. Coming after you soon, buddy. Desert Temples have been in the game since August 2012, being one of the oldest structures in Minecraft. Oh look, there it is. So this is the Minecraft Desert Temple, or some people call it Desert Pyramid, but from the shape it is sort of a temple. If we go inside, this is the main room. You also have these two corridors, either side, which lead up to the top. Now, this is pretty much all there is to it. You've just got these uh, little, whatever they are back here. I have no idea what these are meant to be. And they're not even on each side as well, because you've got these, which annoys me a little bit. But one thing which I'm sure you'll all know the pyramid has is a secret container down here with obviously a trap with TNT underneath. Now, what I don't want to do is drastically change the temple. Is it going to be bigger? Yes, definitely. Is it going to have more traps, more loot? Oh, yes, it will. But I don't want to change too much of it. I don't want to make it drastically different. I want you to be able to tell it's still the Minecraft Desert Temple. Ignore that hole. So the first thing I want to do is just lay out a structure for it. So the actual base of the pyramid is 21 blocks by 21 blocks. But as I said, I want mine to be a little bit bigger. So this is just the base of the pyramid. And already you can see it's pretty much, what, four times as big as the, uh, the Desert Temple. Now, before you all start going on about how, oh, this is way too big, Minecraft would never do anything like this. Firstly, I mean, have you seen the Woodland Mansion? But secondly, this isn't going to be strictly to Mojang's standards. I'm not going to try and make it as a believable thing that they might add in, or as something that they would do themselves. This is just me improving it, making it look better, and just trying to make it a bit more interesting. So, to start off, I just want to focus on these pillars here. I want to keep them pretty much exactly the same. Okay, so I've just tried to keep the uh, the symbol here. Um, I've, I've used images of the actual real life symbol just to uh, try and get the shape. And I've also detailed it in very, very similar to how the uh, the actual one is. Now, with this pyramid, it's the pyramid is sort of part of the entrance as well. So uh, if you dig these out, you'll be able to see that where the pyramid would come down is exactly the same as where the uh, the base finishes. But a lot of the pyramids in real life actually have a entrance point and then that leads through corridors, then you get to the pyramid. So the pyramid's actually detached. I know this is sort of a temple and not actually a pyramid, but I, I do want to take inspiration heavily from the pyramids of Giza. Now, in a lot of the pyramids, around the actual uh, pyramid shape is a wall. And I feel like that's something missing from the Minecraft pyramids. It's just a wall. I forgot it was quite recently when these actually didn't line up perfectly. And they were like this the whole time with like gaps and everything. Huh. Feels like ages ago that. I swear that was only the nether update, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm liking that. So I'm just extending the, um, the platform back a little bit, just so that the pyramid is completely symmetrical. Because obviously you can't have a rectangular pyramid, because that wouldn't really work. Oh. I mean, I did want it to have a one block centre, but um, I've not done it right, so now it's got a two block centre. Yay. That is a big pyramid. But, that is pretty much what I wanted. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. So, progress report. Look at this. So, I've used this image here, and I've sort of looked at this section of it. And you can see, it's got the open roof. And if you look at mine, it has the open roof here. Just leading into the temple, with all the pillars around. Now, obviously, I'm a bit pushed for room, so I had to just make the pillars quite simple but I feel like I did a pretty good job now I know it's meant to be Egyptian but I'm getting really Greek vibes from this especially all the pillars I think and the well I don't know it just I've, I've been to Pompeii 
and it really reminds me of the ruins of Pompeii. I don't know, I mean they're sort of the same era, so maybe maybe they share a lot of architecture? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to put some, uh, oh, oops, some corridors down here as well, leading to these towers uh, on either side. And then we need to tackle the main pyramid. Hey, hey, the exterior now mostly done. I've added this nice decorative base around the entire, entire structure. It took me quite a while to design it. I, I went with so many different designs for this. I had one where the uh, terracotta went all the way across, uh, but I decided to add a bit more detail to it rather than just have that. I've also added some smaller hieroglyphics. Um, obviously, you've got the ank, I think, um, here. And I just got this one as well. I think this one is for. Actually, I can't remember what this one's for. Can't remember what it means. Ah, right, there we are. So I'll put an image up of it. Uh, it's just called the flax. Not sure what it means. Never mind. And it's weird because if I look at it from this angle, I don't think it looks very good. It's like, hmm, look, if you just look at that behind me, it doesn't look very good. However, if I go over here, oh, that just looks perfect. So yeah, perspective is a bit weird. I suppose this is the same with this one though, isn't it? So I'll just show you some of the interior because I have started it. Oh yeah, I added this... Uh, orange staircase so yeah we've got these corridors spanning around the whole pyramid leading you to the very center hey so oh uh -huh. i thought you could see up to the top yeah the um uh i've no idea what i'm gonna do for the center yet not sure but what i do know is this the pyramids have these re I've broken that, haven't I? The pyramids have these really, 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 really long staircases. And these staircases lead... Oh, what on earth? Whoa, what? Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. These staircases lead all the way down to some secret rooms, which is pretty cool. So obviously, I've built my own. Hee <laughs> hee! Leads all the way to... Nothing. I've not done anything down here yet. Inside, I have got a lot of room. Like, a lot of room. A lot of room. So I was thinking I'd have lots of secret rooms. Because the pyramids had so many secret rooms. The centre. The centrepiece of the pyramid is not just going to be a hole. Taking inspiration from the desert temple that looks awful that looks really bad I have no idea how I've messed that up so bad don't think the glazed terracotta works unless they've got a better design maybe what looks Egyptian uh, I have an idea look at what I've done so far look at this Look at this. This floor pattern is much better than the uh, the other one. Um, and I've just had a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. Some pyramids that I've researched have pyramids inside the pyramid. Just to confuse you a bit. So I thought, I'll do that. There we are. Pyramid in the pyramid. However, it does mean I might not be able to have this staircase going up. Which will be a bit annoying, actually. Ah, no, I'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, because if these stairs go up, I'll be able to have something here, maybe just a small room. Oh, look at that. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Are they exactly the same as the ones on the outside? Yeah, they are. <laughs> exactly the same as these ones. <laughs> That's cool. You may also probably notice these walls here. Now, just to make it symmetrical, I put them in. Uh, there's de definitely nothing behind them. <gasps> there's something behind them. So, 
If you break through these, there is another corridor, but there's nothing that that leads to. However, if you break through them, you've got another room. Now, this is what the pyramids do a lot. There's rooms, and then there's walls, and then there's rooms behind the walls. This is an image of Tutankhamun's tomb. That's very difficult to say. Tutankhamun's tomb. And as you can see, there are so many different chambers, antechambers, all sorts of stuff. So I want to recreate that here. Because if anyone was playing Minecraft and you've never been in here before, then just going, breaking through stuff and finding secret rooms is amazing. Like there is with the Woodland Mansion. Like, the amount of times I've been to the Woodland Mansion, not realising the secret room. And then you find out you probably missed out on a diamond block. Not ideal if you ask me. I'm done. I am finally done. This pyramid is done. It's completely done. It's more done than done. If it was any more done, it would actually be on the desert. Wait, hang on. So you'll actually be able to see. A, I've put one in the sand. I've not rebuilt this one like block by block, don't worry. I just used the uh, clone command. Moved it over. So we have an identical pyramid right here. After nine years of being in Minecraft exactly the same, this is the final version of my rendition of the Minecraft Desert Temple. With the rim around the base and these new extra detailed towers, I've tried to keep the whole build realistic. I didn't want to make it stand out from the normal Minecraft terrain. I wanted to make it fit in with the usual Minecraft structures and builds and not make it look too much like it's something someone's just built here. I've tried to keep it as simple as I can, stick to sort of vanilla Minecraft, but not too much, enough to get creative with it. And as we enter the centre of the pyramid, I have kept the one thing that everyone knows about the Desert Temple. The chest's in the middle. Since it isn't a one block centre, I had to use four pressure plates, but underneath, as usual, there is the TNT. However, what's different about this is that this uses trapped chests. So, if you've not got rid of this TNT before you open the chests, then kaboom. And if we break through this wall here, we'll lead to another corridor. So, what can be behind there? Oh! trap. What? Ah, a little bit of an error here of me. When I moved the pyramid, I think the skeletons didn't come with it. So, um, yeah, hmm. There's meant to be skeletons, but now there's not. So what was supposed to happen is you fall down here, skeletons are shooting at you, but yeah, that didn't happen, did it? So, let's carry on the tour. To carry on through here, just a little burial chamber. I've tried to use real images of the tombs from all over Egypt and just try and keep the sort of tapestry design that they have on the walls as well as with the actual sarcophagus. So if we do manage to actually get through here and if we break through, we go through to another burial room. So all this is really is another tomb and just a bit of treasure. I've added honey in, which isn't actually found in the desert temple. But they have found honey still there in the pyramid, so I thought I'd add that in. And I've just used other gold variants, just to add a bit of spice. If we go through the other side, it's very, very similar story. Just another chamber. However, if we go through here, we have one of those thingies, the, the sarcophagus things. You know, the one stood up, but it's Minecraft, so I can't really actually build it. I'll put an image up of it. However, if we go down the other way... Another trap! Now, I'm in creative, so I didn't take any damage, but if we do land on these in survival, um, it will really hurt. If you go through them without any shoes on, it's, you're dead. And if you go through with anything less than iron armour, you're also dead. So as we continue the tour, I will show you my favourite bit of the whole pyramid. The catacombs. Let's head down. Ow, 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 ow. So at the bottom is a sort of maze-ish thing. It's not like a proper maze, but it's a bit easy to get lost, let's say. Speaking of which, I don't actually know the way. Now littered around these corridors are lots and lots of booby traps. 
such as that, uh, ow, such as that. I've got poison now, haven't I? Oh, great. I've gone very Indiana Jonesy with the sort of traps I've got around. And at the end of some corridors, you actually have to break through to get to the next bit. Oh, the mobs have gone again. There's meant to be loads of skeletons in here. No, not skeletons. Spiders. Ha! But if we manage to get across here, we'll find... Oh, there's something at the end of this corridor as well. Um, best be careful, though, because there's a lot of spikes. And it's just where we were before. Go! Oh, what's this? A random block. Let's just go break this. Oh, the ske... No! No! There's meant to be a skeleton behind there, but all the mobs have gone. So, uh, hmm. Take two. Oh, what is this random block that's here? Let me go break it. Ah, I didn't know that was coming. Yeah, so that's what would happen. See, I wanted to make something like, you know, uh, do you mind? When um, the skeletons come out on the spikes, and I was like, how do I make a skeleton? And then, then, then I remembered. Yeah. T oh, he set off my next trap. What are you doing, mate? No, oh, really? What? Yeah. So, so you come round here, and then oh, look, arrows come flying at you. That that was another trap that the skeleton spoiled a little bit. But the next one is probably one of my favourites, along with that. This area is really full of traps, isn't it? So you're coming down this corridor, and you're like, oh, oh let's break through here. Oh, what? Oh! And you're buried in sand. Ah, what's this? Hmm. It is the official... To I can't get through. Tombs. Here we are. So I've not put the top on yet, just so I can give you a proper view of all of it. But this is the tomb of Tutankhamun. So if we compare, this is obviously the antechamber with just... I tried to have a look what's in it, but it just looked like junk, really. I mean, not to be offensive or anything, but just a bunch of wheels and everything. A bit weird. I also noticed there was no doors. There was no sort of, like, doorways or anything. It was all walls. They must have really struggled getting in and out of it. So there was just walls you had to go through. Um, but yeah, there was another sort of... No idea what it was. Room here. So I just put some, you know, storage stuff in here. But then you go onto the proper part. The actual big sarcophagus E thing of Tutankhamun yeah that's the official name and I had a look at the actual pattern on the actual tomb uh, and on the walls and everything tried to keep it as accurate as possible I've used gold here which will be very good if it's in survival but if we go inside you'll be able to see this this chest is the actual coffin it was the best thing for a chest in the entirety of Minecraft the best thing for a coffin was a chest so if you look inside, I've tried to make his body, really. Skull, bones, flesh, the string. Don't think I did a bad job. And then the most important part of all is through here. The treasure room. Now, there was immense treasures in this room. So, obviously, I had to go with immense treasures as well. Totem of Undying, Diamond Block, loads cool stuff got another cool chest up here as well got tons of blocks of gold emeralds you name it the ultimate treasure room to end all treasure rooms and with that that is it that is all well all the important stuff of the interior of this pyramid done and with that that brings an end to my take on the desert temple it took quite a while i spent quite a few hours designing and trying out loads of different things but in the end I'm very happy with this all the little added details and things that are built from the actual pyramids and trying to get inspiration from real life situations and real life buildings just trying to make it as accurate in Minecraft as possible and as accurate in real life as possible as well if you want to check out this pyramid yourself I'll put the world download in the description and if you did like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, bash that like button, slap a like, all the other metaphors, whatever you like. Ha, <laughs> get it? And if you do like this sort of content, or any of my content really, then consider subscribing. 
I've been Big Dave. Thank you for watching.